Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the Elementor video series. In this video, we will see how to add the countdown timer on the Elementor website. In the first part of this video, we will see how to add the countdown timer using the Elementor Pro plugin. So if you have the Elementor Pro plugin installed on your website, then you will see the countdown timer widget in the Elementor Pro plugin. Now, if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin on your website, then we will install a free Elementor add-on. And using this free Elementor add-on plugin, you will be able to add countdown timer on your Elementor website. So this one is created using Elementor Pro. And these are the six different layouts that you can add using the free Elementor add-on plugin. So this is the first one, the second one, third, fourth, fifth, and the sixth one. So I guess the free Elementor add-on will give you more options to add the countdown timer on the Elementor website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So I'm on the dashboard of the WordPress website and on this website we have Elementor and Elementor Pro plugin installed. So in the first part of this video we will add the countdown timer using the Elementor Pro widget. If you have Elementor Pro installed on your website you will get the countdown timer widget built in in Elementor Pro. In the second part of this video, we will install a free Elementor add-on plugin. And using this free Elementor add-on plugin, you will be able to add the countdown timer. So in that case, you do not need Elementor Pro plugin. So let's start with the first part of this video. So I am on the demo page and here I'm going to add the countdown timer. So click on the plus sign and search for countdown. So this is the one that comes with the Elementor Pro. So click on it, drag it and drop it here. Now here you will see the layout is pretty basic and you can easily customize this countdown timer. Now let's start with the settings of this timer. Here you will see the type. So the first option is due date and this is evergreen timer. Okay, so now let's see the due date. If you want to set up the timer till a particular date, then you can use this due date option. You can simply click on it and from here you can change the timing or the date. So right now it's set to 14 September. Let me change it. Today's date is 14th August. So I'm going to change it to let's say 19 August. So it is approximately four days, 23 hours, 57 minutes. And from here you can change the time. So let's say I want to change it to 10, 30 a.m. So at 10, 30 a.m. this countdown will stop. So it's approximately five days. 33 minutes and 35 seconds so it has started the timer now let's change it to evergreen timer and from here you can change the hours and minutes so let's say if you want to set it up to 78 hours that's then from here you can change it so it's three days five hours and 59 minutes so this is how you can change the settings of the timer so i'm going to set it to due date and from here, I'm going to set it to 19th August, and this is the time. Now, the view, block, or inline. You will see the inline here, and this is the block layout, the view. If you do not want to show any of the block, you can simply disable it from here. Hide. So it will show only five days. This is for hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, so this is how you can disable any one of the block. Now show label. So here is the label, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. So these are the labels. If you want to change these labels, you can also change. Here you can custom the label, day. Right now it is set to days, hours, minutes, and seconds. I don't think you need to change it. However, you, if you want, you can change the custom label. Change it to custom label. Right, so now let's see what do you want after the expiration of this timer. So this is the option where you can set what to do after the expiration of timer. So here you can click on the plus sign and these are the options redirect, hide or show message. So if you want to show the message, you can show the message here. Let's see. So this will be the message shown here after the expiration of this timer. 
you can also hide it so when this timer expires it will hide this timer section so it will not show anything there so let's go to style section of this timer so these are the boxes you can see the container width this is the container width you can change it so right now it is set to 100 percent the background color from here you can change the background color okay now the border type if you want to add border you can add border and change the border color also okay so this is for the block border radius add border radius and you will see the border radius here space between so this is the space between these blocks okay now padding if you want to add padding you can add padding now these are the content settings color from here you can change the color so this is the color for the digits from here you can change the font type font size and font width this is for the label you can change the color from here and this is the typography for the label so these are the basic settings of this timer so let's see how does this look on the actual mobile so i'm going to select responsive mode and from here select mobile and this is how it will look on the mobile so it does not look good so i'm going to change the block to inline and this is how it will look on the inline better on mobile so you can play with the settings you can play with the padding and the space between and according to that you can adjust the layout of the timer on the desktop as well as on the mobile devices so this is how it will look on the tablet and this is how it will look on desktop so this is for the Elementor Pro countdown timer. Now we are going to add a free plugin. The name of the plugin is Elements Kit Lite. So you can go to add new. So you can go to plugins, then go to add new. And here you can search for Elementor. Here you can see, yeah, this is the one Elements Kit Lite. So this is the one that you need to install. It is already installed. Let me activate it. So this is a free add-on. Okay, I have it activated. Now let me update this one and then we will refresh this page. I can, you can also change the background color for this. Let me update it and let's refresh it. Okay, now here I'm going to add a new section for the another timer. Let's add some padding to the top and bottom. And here, Click on the plus sign and search for the countdown timer again. So this one is created using Elements Kit Lite plugin, the add-on that we have just installed. So click on it, drag it and drop it here. Now here you will see different styles and layout for this free countdown timer. One, two, three, four, five, six. So there are six timers that you can use using this free plugin. So uh, this is the one that is selected right now. So this is the layout. Now let's go to the next option, timer settings. So this is pretty simple, like the other countdown timer in the Elementor Pro. From here, you can change the timing. Okay, so five days, six hours. So this is how you can change the due date. Now these are the custom labels. You can change the custom labels if required. However, there is no option to delete any of the blocks expire action so only option here is text so after the expiration it will show the text so this is the text you can change this text okay so these are the three basic settings after that you can customize the styles okay, so this is the width okay, let me set it to let's say 200 so you can play with the settings of the custom style settings and you can change Let's change it to 200 so it will be like a circle line height so this is the line height margin bottom okay, now let's say this is for the days so this is the block days block from here you can change the color the typography this is the label so it's for digits label and background color so this is for the background color we are going to change the background color here background color and we are going to use some gradient color okay now change the label color also okay from here you can change the typography for the label and for the digits also okay let's go to the next hours 
and we are going to change the background color for the hours also so we will be using the gradient okay now let's move on to the minutes and do the same thing change the background color let's move on to the seconds this is how you can customize the layout now let's see how does this look on the mobile So this is how it will look on the mobile. So it looks good on the mobile also. You can change the width settings from here. So you can play with these settings and change the style. So let's close this one and let's move on to the next one. The same one, uh, we are going to use the second layout. Drag it and drop it here. Okay, now let's change it to second layout. Let's add some spacer here. Okay, so this is the second layout. And pretty basic, you can change all these settings from here. And we are going to only change the style. So days, for the days, you can change the color. Just like what we did here. So let me change the color for the hours and minutes also. All right, so this one looks good. Now let's see how does this look on the mobile. So this one looks good on the mobile also. All right, now let's add another one. And let's change the layout to the third one. So we are going to change, check all the layouts. Let's add some space here. Okay, so this one also looks good. Just like the other layouts, you can simply change the color combination Add the other one. Add the spacer first. And this is the next layout. This one also looks good. So you just need to go to style and from here you can change the color combination according to the layout of your website. Let's see the last one the next one here you can simply go to this time settings and from here you can change the time okay or I can simply duplicate this one and from here I can change the layout Okay, here you will see different layouts. We have used one, two, three, four, five different layouts. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is the pretty basic that we used already. Six different layouts. All right, let's go to responsive mode and check how does this look on the mobile. So this is the first one that comes with the Elementor Pro. The second one that comes with the free plugin. This one also looks nice. All right, so if you do not have Elementor Pro plugin, you can simply install this free add-on and using this, you can add the countdown timer on your Elementor website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.